Yeah, students, today now uh, we will discuss about the structure of atmosphere. So, just like uh, as we have already learned, the interior of the earth, there are three layers. Similarly, the exterior of the earth, like for example, the blanket which we are discussing about the sea of gases, also has got the various layers. They are not like uniform in the characteristics and also in the chemical composition. So now we discuss about the, the what exactly that layers composed of and how many types of layers we have and what is their characteristic and what is exactly the these layers will do. So based on the chemical composition, this atmosphere is divided into two layers. One, homosphere having the uniform chemical composition. It's a uniformity you can uh, uh, observe in homosphere. Whereas hetero as you know homo is equal or similar and the heterosphere it's mixture it's not a you know, similar or equal mixture it's a hetero is nothing but it's there is no uniformity in the chemical composition so based on the chemical composition we have homosphere and heterosphere so homosphere you can see this homosphere above the earth layer crust up to 90 kilometers so up to 90 kilometers you can see the homosphere layer and above the 90 kilometers you can see hexosphere uh, or you can say heterosphere so this again homosphere is divided into three again three layers based on the density uh, like you know the very important troposphere stratosphere and mesosphere you can observe this tropo strato and mesospheres in homosphere whereas in heterosphere we see ionosphere or you can also call as thermosphere and exosphere so this exosphere and thermosphere are located above the 90 kilometers from the earth surface above earth surface 90 kilometers where you can see you know the satellites and other spacecrafts yeah, students, as we have seen, like uh, based on the chemical composition, there are two layers, homogeneous and heterogeneous. At the same time, based on the temperature and the density, there are various other types of layers existing in the atmosphere. So now, uh, like put together, total we have five layers. Three layers will come under the homosphere and other two layers come under the heterosphere. So, again, under that homosphere, uh, sphere as we have discussed up to 90 kilometers this homosphere exists in the atmosphere the layer so the lowermost troposphere is the lowermost layer of the uh, homosphere where 75 percent of the total mass of the gases mixture is you now is composed of nothing but your troposphere so this exists up to 8 kilometers at the poles and at the equator point it is up to 18 kilometers average we have 13 kilometers of this thickness of the layer surrounding the earth this is the lowermost layer surrounding the earth crust so the entire weather phenomena like you know precipitation condensation and your uh, transportation and the wind cyclonic effects all these kind of weather phenomena rainfall existing in this troposphere only so above the troposphere you don't find this kind of uh, different you know effects like uh, cyclonic effects and others so the entire weather phenomena you will observe only in the troposphere only up to 18 kilometers thickness and all moisture dust particles also you will get in this troposphere so at the equator i told you that 18 kilometers why the thickness at the equator is greatest when compared to the poles why because of this uh, heat uh, from the equator side we transported to greater heights at that point so why because it's due to conventional currents this convectional currents forming the thickness of the layer you know of the, uh, the equator is huge comparatively at the poles 
the reason why which is having 8 kilometers from one end and 18 kilometers from the center this trophosphere exists and also as you go height from the surface and you will get the temperature is decreasing for example at the uh, for example you are going you know uh, 5 kilometers height or you know where these aircrafts and the parachutes and all you observe so there you see the temperature relatively from the earth surface is low for example if you are finding 28 degrees centigrade celsius temperature at the earth surface if you are going around 6 7 kilometers height you will get 26 or 25 that means temperature is decreasing temperature is decreasing when you are going towards upwards and that too in the troposphere that means within average of 13 kilometers that is called normal lapse normal lapse is nothing but temperature decreases when you go upwards height of the troposphere so which is existing up to an average of 13 kilometers and uh, we have the second important uh, layer atmospheric layer homogeneous atmospheric layer stratosphere so as you know that uh, at the equator it is 18 kilometers and at the poles it is 8 kilometers from the earth surface the layer thickness from there up to 50 kilometers we have this stratosphere and this stratosphere is free from the clouds free from clouds means there is no further weather associated phenomenon like you know cyclones and rainfalls precipitation condensation and all these kind of weather phenomena is not going to take place in this stratosphere because it's free from that particular weather phenomena and so this stratosphere ideal for flying jet aircrafts jet planes and other aircrafts so uh, usually you see the international air freights you know moving in this stratosphere not in the troposphere as you know just for your uh, uh, knowledge up to six kilometers parachute can fly and where they experience the troposphere part and four kilometers you can see the usual uh, aircrafts like uh, you know two man aircrafts and commercial the commercial planes move around 12 10 to 12 kilometers height from the surface whereas the spacecraft satellites and all they exist above 400 kilometers to 800 kilometers height from the earth surface so why because the troposphere has got the more uh, dense uh, composition when compared to stratosphere stratosphere is having you know the free from the clouds and it's ideal for the flying jet planes yeah it's very interesting uh, part of uh, stratosphere uh, we have to uh, discuss about the ozone layer ozone layer is nothing but the life layer which is existing from 20 kilometers from the height of this earth surface to 40 kilometers so this is the layer which is protecting us from the sunlight and from the harmful rays of uh, sunlight so this ozone layer is very important for us to learn and understand so existing from 20 kilometers to 40 kilometers that means it is within the stratosphere and this ozone layer also we call as a life layer that which protects life on the earth surface so if the sunlight uh, passes through the ozone layer without you know stopping so it will give us uh, skin diseases the rays will form the skin diseases and other stuff so the stratosphere is again the very important part of the stratosphere is as we have discussed in the troposphere if you are going upward you feel cool uh, the temperature cools down the temperature goes down called as normal lapse whereas here in stratosphere if you are going above 18 kilometers height if you are going towards upwards the height or the altitude if the increases height or altitude are the same height also you can call 
altitude if altitude increases if height increases from the earth surface you feel the temperature also will increase temperature also will increase increase in the temperature as we have uh, taken the earlier example like if you are going height for example if you are climbing uh, any mountain you feel relatively cooler when compared to the earth surface from the thing whereas if you are going above uh, 40 kilometers say around 35 kilometers height from the earth surface you feel very hot because the temperature also will increase it's like so that is a very important part of stratosphere so now after discussing this the troposphere and stratosphere the third most layer the th third uh, layer of our earth surface and atmosphere so the mesosphere which is existing from 50 kilometers to 80 kilometers and an average of you know uh, 80 kilometers this mesosphere is existing which is the the top or you know underlined by you know stratosphere so uh, temperature again here it decreases if you are going uh, upward like if the altitude increases if height increases again the temperature decreases so after completion of stratosphere so uh, you get the mesosphere the difference between stratosphere and mesosphere layer is once uh, you reach around 50 kilometers and then if you are going again upward again temperature will decrease instead of increasing so like normal laps we have observed in the troposphere similarly we will observe the similar kind of uh, temperature fall uh, if you are going uh, towards you know higher uh, side in the mesosphere so meteoroids burn up in this uh, layer meteoroids moving around the space you know and the, they protect us like before reaching from the space to connect with the earth they burn they burst there itself there is nothing but mesosphere in that mesosphere these meteoroids will burn up they won't reach uh, to our earth surface and they won't hit us at the same time we have the other layer interestingly the thermosphere thermo thermo is nothing but heat heat is nothing but due to ions so this thermosphere existing from 90 kilometers here i kept you know similar 80 as we have already discussed at the poles it decreases and at the equator it increases so put together 90 kilometers to 400 kilometers you get this thermosphere where all these radio waves this mobile phone you now all these waves are reflected in this thermosphere once why it is reflecting because this layer is composed of complete you know ions fully electrically charged ions these charged ions they once if your uh, the wave is uh, transmitting from the earth surface to the space and in this space there are some ions they reflect back the, these uh, waves so that you will be getting you know your tv channels radio uh, fm radio and uh, mobile phone signals all these things happens only in this thermosphere because here the waves are reflect back so the waves which we are transmitting from earth surface will reflect back in this thermosphere the reason why we call this as a ionosphere thermosphere is also called as ionosphere so here again the interesting part is just like in our stratosphere temperature increases if you are going towards upward that means if height increases temperature also will increase that means here interestingly again i repeat in troposphere temperature falls if you are going upward in stratosphere temperature increases if your height is also increasing in mesosphere temperature falls if you are going upward again in the ionosphere or thermosphere temperature increases if you are 
increasing your height so that is about thermosphere and the fifth the exosphere which is the uppermost layer of the earth atmosphere is you know uh, covering beyond uh, you know 400 kilometers to 800 kilometers and extra kilometers why because very little known about this exosphere the reason why exo outside exosphere is the layer which is existing above the thermosphere so and uh, scientists are still uh, discovering a lot of uh, information from the exosphere which is still you know it's not fully known very little known about the exosphere